Hey guys, how many of you have perhaps found yourself having to play the role of Santa at Christmas time, but maybe just haven't quite figured out what the heck you're doing? Well, if that's the case, you're in luck because that's exactly what we're gonna cover next on today's bonus session of Manly Moments. <laughs> What a treat we've got lined up for you today. As a dad myself, I've had to wear the red suit several times at Christmas, but if I'm honest, I didn't have a clue as to what I was doing. Fortunately, I know someone who does. It's my new friend and longtime Santa Claus, Steve Russell. How's it going, Steve? Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Robbie. How are you? Good. I am so glad. I got to tell you, even though I'm an adult, I'm pretty pumped about this interview. It's not every day I get the chance to have a conversation with Santa. So, Steve, tell us a little bit about uh, how long you've been doing this and how you got your start. Well, I started over 40 years ago, and a friend of mine dared me to come to his party dressed up as Santa and liven it up, and so I did. And then he dared me to go to work like this, and I did that. And then people started calling me and saying, hey, would you come to my house and visit with my children? And I said, I'd love to. And that was over 40 years ago. Wow, the rest is history. Obviously, your wife Marie doesn't seem to mind as she's embraced the role of Mrs. Claus pretty well. Right. About 25 years ago, after our children were grown up and gone, she says, I'm missing out on the fun. So she comes along with me as Mrs. Claus. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, too. I mean, where'd you get this suit? My, my Santa suit doesn't look anything like that. Well, I got my first suit at a, at a Kmart long time ago, and then I went to a Santa seminar in Canton, Ohio, and I learned how to make a suit out of corduroy, used a pair of pajamas as a, as a pattern, and I had a Santa seems to sew it together for me, and it worked for years, and I still have it upstairs. It looks fantastic, and uh, I'm curious, how many people do this? I mean, are there a lot of, like, how many Santas would you say there are in Fort Wayne? Well, I know five personally, but I'll bet you there's well over a dozen Santas in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Not counting dads, of course. Not counting dads. <laughs> there are guys I've seen around town. Well, also, I'm curious, how many gigs do you do in it in a season? Well, when I started, if I did 10, I was a happy camper. But now I'm doing like 60 to 80 a year, and I still have room during the week to, to visit more people. And, and you love it. What, what keeps you going? What keeps me going is I keep asking myself the question, who's entertaining who? Are the kids, am I entertaining the children or are they entertaining me? Because when I look into their eyes and I see that sparkle and that laughter in their voice, it's just, it's exhilarating. It's, it's, it's a payback you can't imagine. <laughs> well, 40 years of playing Santa, you've obviously got this thing mastered. But I was hoping today you might share just a few simple tips with us, people like me, a dad, on how to be a more realistic Santa. Are you willing to do that? I'd be happy to do that. Jolly good, let's do it. Here's the first tip, that you can go get a suit and a beard, but what really I think adds to it is that people have brown eyebrows or black eyebrows, and it doesn't match. So you can go and you can get some some type of white makeup, you can dye them, you can get clown makeup, you can get something to whiten your eyebrows. That makes, that brings the whole picture together. I use a popsicle stick with makeup on it. I dip it in water, I color, I brush it on my eyebrows, and it adds to the whole picture, brings it all together, and it washes off with soap and water when I'm done. The next tip is the ho, ho, ho. Now I can say ho, 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 or I can come into a room and go, oh, ho, ho, ho. But that comes from here. The ho, ho, ho is a laugh and it comes from your diaphragm. So you have to go, oh, ho, 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 You've got to shake a little bit, move around. So now I, I hope you can see the difference. The, the, the belly laugh, the ho, 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 is a more genuine thing. Ho, 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 I'm back again. Many of you probably asked yourself the question, but I'm too skinny to play. Santa, no you're not. You can do one of several things. In the old days, people would put a pillow in their, in their shirt and put a belt around it and be that way. But pillows buckle and they don't work as good. Or you can go to the store and you can buy a fake stomach like this. 
I call it my prosthetic device. But you can do this, or, and, and you can put this on around you, inside your suit. Or, what I did a long time ago, is I went to an upholstery store, or, you know, a fabric store, and I bought foam rubber. And I cut pieces like this and trimmed the edges, and then I shoved it up underneath a t-shirt. And if the t-shirt was too big, I went to the store and bought a smaller size t-shirt. And I stretched it on there so it would be nice and firm and it wouldn't buckle. And it was perfect. And it was just a couple of dollars. And then you put your suit on and you're as jolly as you want to be. Now, you're a dad playing a Santa and you want to know how long should I stay? What should I do? Here's the secret. As a dad or any Santa, you're in and out of the house. You're a busy guy. You're seeing millions of homes and visiting millions of children. So you go in, you do your, your little presentation if you're telling a story or passing out gifts, passing out candy, and then you, you gather your sack or whatever prop set you're using and you say, it's time for Santa to go. Now children, if you look out the back window and look up in the sky, you might see Rudolph fly by here to come pick me up. And hopefully there's an airplane going by. So you have them looking out the back window. When they're in the back window, you dart out the front door so they don't see you. And that's a, a way to get in and out real quick. <laughs> wow, Steve, those are great tips. I feel like I'm ready to go out and buy some reindeer. Any idea where I can get a good deal on a sleigh? Oh, I don't know if I'd give up my day job. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one last question for you. Um, any chance you have uh, something in that little bag of yours for me? Well, yes, I do, because I was checking my naughty and nice list to see who, twice to see who's naughty and nice, and I found your name at the top of the list, so I brought my match Santa sack here, and I think I have something in it for you. Let me dig down deep in here. Oh, I think I found it. Wait a second here. It's coming. Oh, there it is. That's for you. Merry Christmas. Thanks. I can't wait to see what it is. What? What in the world? What's this all about? Well, you said you wanted a horse for Christmas. I did? Yeah, a Mustang. I meant like like a 65 convertible. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. You leave your garage door open, you might get lucky. <laughs> Let's hope so. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up and go ahead and consider subscribing to this channel by clicking the subscribe box below. And we'll see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments. Merry Christmas! <laughs>